and hello everybody this is Artemis Cake a lot coming live to you or not live if you're watching this off uh, at a later time casting a we knew can run versus the seventh fleet I casted game two game one I uh, I wasn't here so <laughs> I can't know so let's get right onto it so spawning in the bottom we have seventh fleet we have a double five spine guardian destro five armor raven coming out early they're not waiting off the extra energy a 4-3 carrier, because we see a caster carrier from Skywalker, and Howler as a 3 tent levy on the outside lane. Now coming from the top, we have We Knew Can Run. We have a guard, sort of a bit of a mixed bag in the middle. Des, uh 3-4 Dastro, 5 Spine Guardian, 5 Missile BC. I'm seeing a lot of 5 Missile BC lately. A f a fourth, another 4-3 four carrier. I'm wondering if the levies are going to switch with the carriers at this point. And as well, we have QQQ as an Overlord with Plague. And let's get the right one. Yes, there we go. That's the correct overlay. Looks all nice and pretty for all you folks. So in this case, the uh, bunny definitely has a distinct advantage um, compared to sub gods, especially once the shields are down. Duality's gonna be very happy that he's there because he can get off an EMP. But of course, Sensei right now is running away from a potential plague. Plague is incredibly annoying. Though in this case, it's not quite as devastating because the guardians can regen their health but it does hurt Destro's quite badly. Howler is getting launched on by Techmeister at the top. Still no still no first play from QQQ. We're still waiting on that. And Silver is dancing with Skywalker. There goes the plague. And it looks like it only caught Bunny, so good job by Seventh Fleet trying to stay spread out there. QQQ's going to have to try getting out of EMP. They all got EMP'd. Actually, they're all out of shields. Bunny's taking the initiative to push a bit with the Five Spine Guardians. And now let's give a quick look at these matchups on the top. Let's get some vision here on the farm. So Howler versus, uh, let's see, who's the other levy? Howler versus Silver. We've got 36 farm for Howler, and Silver has a 59 farm. So definitely Silver's having a bit of an easier time. Looks like, and I'm trying to see, Techmeister's doing a good job harassing Howler at the top. And... Like what? That basically tells you the story. So I'm wondering if it's going to be end up being cast carrier versus carrier. But still, that is quite interesting. Silver went straight for 7 tenth. Howler is only at 4 tenth, hasn't had a chance to upgrade. Going instead for speed and for range. So Bunny got hit with a second plague here, the Overlord. Duality's out of shield, so Bunny's not going to be able to stay here for long. Bit of a launch here by Nut Butter. But two Five Spine Guardians can clear that up easily, and it was a bit of a staggered launch there. So Overlord's still looking healthy, hang out there, but both these. But this case, it's going to be a case of trying to kite. Of course, with a five missile BC, it's only eight range, so you can't do an excessive amount of kiting. Duality is almost at a point where you can shield transfer. He is shield transferring Bunny at this point. Howler at uh, full health right now, starting to tech, go to tech into bile. And Silver also teching into bile, so neither of them are going for armor at this point. Already at four bile, though, so Silver definitely has a leg up as far as the levy wars go, as I like to refer them. It's the levy wars, basically. Who can farm the most be the bossiest? And being in the side lane, you do have to have the mentality of a boss. And also be greedy. That's the essential nature of the ship. So Skywalker trying to do some launches here. Cruality caught a little bit behind. Nutbutter's going to get some free missiles on. Didn't re redirecting now to Skywalker. Launch on Duality is going to prevent him from getting giving any shields to Skywalker. Bunny can't help. Still going back. But Skywalker is getting pushed by Silver with six bile seven tenths. That is going to hurt. Silver's right on top of him. Death sub gods warping and Destro. This is an early kill, folks. Right here. Bunny coming in, but too late. There goes Skywalker. And looks like when you can run, is going to be pushing further. Are they going to get a second kill? Are they going to get Kraken Domes? But he's at 2,000 health. I don't think they're going to push that far. Those sub guys pushing past Prisms. Trying to, trying to seal the deal. Not quite. Not enough distance. But getting that carrier in the beginning certainly uh, gets the advantage to when you can run. So good job on when you can run for catching that and you gotta be careful 
and you could just see that Skywalker shields were evaporating, and that's because Silver had basically chanced, a lot of chances to upgrade and was doing a very good job. So it looks like team now they're worried about a warp trip, but that's not going to happen at this point because Seventh Fleet needs to heal. Looks like it's going to be a soft back for we you can run, i.e. the blue team. Let's take a quick look, quick look at the farm, folks, after this kill. We've got 703 farm for 7th Fleet and 982 farm for we can you can run, to be expected. But yeah, even like uh, Techmeister definitely was farming a bit better than Skywalker was. Dep it depends, perhaps, how confident um, each of the teams were having with their Leviathans and their carriers and whether or not the, they should have switched. But... We never know. What do you want, Jermex says. Now, either Jermex is not in TS, or Jermex is not getting the attention he needs and being told what to upgrade. I cannot pass judgment on this matter. But we will find out what he ends up getting. So, Howler is getting his rapid regen, useful dualities, still getting more energy. EMP, Geister is going for Parasite and for Scourge. Bunny is going just for strict bots and for more armor and a bit of, la and a bit of lasers. Uh, did get reinforced hull in that. Scourge, so double Scourge by 7th Fleet, as well as Anabolic, so Kraken's going to be stabbing himself a lot. We you can run. Gotten, so let's see, Nutbutter's gotten a bit more. Gotten his lasers. Germax going for Broods and Broodlings and, well, he already had some more spines to keep up one shot. Silver didn't get rapid regen. Overlord's coming out. We'll see what he has in a second. Bit of a push here on Bunny. Overlord came in more energy, basically, for Plagues. Push here on Bunny, and Subgods definitely has the advantage of having the 5 BC, 5 BC behind him. Never mind, Duality has shields. But now the whole team, now 7th Fleet has to worry about getting run down and also protecting the Raven, who could be a possible target. But it looks like they're targeting one of the Guardian. Now, I'm very surprised Howler's not coming in at this point to try to drive off this push. He figures he can come in after, but looks like this is going to be a kill. Oh, are they going to make this a kill? Is Kraken going to come out of this alive? Yes, he is going to be coming out of this, making a waypoint route around the command center. Makes it out, and Geister makes it out, so we you can run. Very frustrated. They got two Guardians down into the sub with a thousand health or less. Techweister has gone his warp in and has gone ints. So at this point, Renukinon is just going to try to go for the DPS. Silver's already at 9 bile. Howler's at 6, cause he, but he got rapid regen, so that'll pay off dividends in the longer run. As Renukinon does not have any energy to now really, except for Siphon or for feedback. But I doubt we're going to see that. Perhaps Siphon for the Raven. D Matrix now in duality. Scourge is getting upgraded. Uh, Bunny's coming out just again. A bit more energy, I think, for bots at this point. He, do I, Bunny may not have a chance to upgrade by this point. And we have a PP by. Not Butter by Ween, you can run. Not Butter is one of the TSL commissioners. So, folks, looks like that early kill is definitely giving the advantage in. We knew can run's favor. At the moment, I'm seeing quite a bit of. So I think earlier on, I'm just going to wax eloquently, um, or ineloquently. Um, I've seen a lot of five missile BC to start with. It used to be that kiting was the king in the middle with the BC. BC seeing a little bit less use over time. Um, but now, when I do see it, I see it either go pods or go five missiles because teams are going more for DPS rather than for kiting. Also because BCs are, while well, they're also very vulnerable to multiple plagues, and um, if they push poopy, oh, I don't think so, is this a bathroom break, a sub-god's ass? But yeah, if BCs, um, they're pretty vulnerable to plagues, and yeah, just not a lot of kiting these days. And Germax is back! Skywalker has left the game, he's died so it's not gonna cost his team anything. Skywalker thought he was causing some lag. 
bunnies, minerals, there's 15 minerals left over. So this, folks, is the last match between, one of the last matches of TSL Season 1. Um, it's been a pretty exciting season. Um, we do have some games still coming up. The mystery with the huckle in town. I uh, do not understand that. But that's okay. Because teams have their own language sometimes. Um, yeah, so TSL's almost done. These, these teams are just wrapping up their matches. Neither of them is going to make it to the playoffs, but that's okay, and I commend teams for just trying to push through, improve their standing in TSL, because in the future TSL standing could be used for tournaments, and they, or they could be used just also for bragging rights, like, you know, we did this well over the period from October 2012 to January 2013. It's been a lot of fun. A lot of fun for casters, too, I gotta say. Casting all you fine folks, messing up our overlays. <laughs> Debates of the rules, but don't debate with Nut Butter. He's one of the commissioners. So if he says this goes this way, probably is so. And as hello to my seven viewers. We are back. Duality's got to go back. He's plagued in the red already. So just a normal push out straight by seventh. They're hoping that if they upgrade double scourge, now Jester's probably going to look to get a, maybe a parasite on the o or on QQQ, possibly the Overlord. That'll help out with scourging. But these two need to be starting to spam their scourge for DPS. This bunny can only hold the line so long. That bunny's starting to get a little bit of shields there. Howler is now starting to get it, starting to go into armor. Uh, is now at 10 range and 1.6. Let's see how Silver's doing. Silver's now cutting over to the top. Looks like he's going to take on Howler and try to bully him around a bit. But Silver doesn't have Rapid Regen. And Howler instead is going for the longevity thing. Actually getting got some extra health upgrades. So Howler's caught, caught up. Mm, not quite, but almost. Bit of a launch here on Germex. Nutbutter's out now with pods, so Nutbutter's going to take the anti-scourge duty. Quick launch by Techmeister, but now at level 14 ints. Also maintaining, uh, teching for two-shot. Duality trying now, is Duality's job's now going to be trying to, to EMP that BC as much as possible. At this point, these guards, they do have to contend with Nutbutter, so they're going to be coordin they should be coordinating with the Raven. Trying to... Oh, bad plague. Three ship plague there. And already Kraken's in the orange, so he's going to have to go back. That hurt. Subgod's warped in now. Sent and keeping up his one shot. Maybe tucking into a later siege with... Maybe a bit of siege nuke or siege text, potentially. Looks like a coordinated push on Howler. Oh no, on Bunny. Bunny stopped there, a little bit of a derp. Just a push in the side lane. Because Silver is getting a bit badly hurt here. So I believe Silver doesn't have as much. No, they both have 10 range, but Howler does have the extra health and the Rapid Regen, which help him out. g and Kraken coming out with Scourge again. They have to try not to get double Scourge potted. Duality is getting launched at, trying to keep his shields down. Basically, we knew can run it is going to try to wear down Seventh Fleet, prevent them from farming as much. They do have Techmeister, who can end up going to get attacks if things start to get really hairy. But if they can really sort of keep Seventh Fleet contained on this side of the map, then that's all they really have to do. Though, no, with the Raven, though, with late game, that could change things a bit. Nice pause with Nut Butter. Howler kiting at Sub Gods, a little bit, you know, on the side. And it basically a bit of a contain now. Bunny's back. It looks like there's going to be no attempted surprise warping. And actually, this is a point where we knew can run knows that Bunny has gone back to base. Destro's gone back to base, and now they're going to be pulling back. And at this point, they've got enough minerals they can upgrade, you know, 500, 900 on Germax and It'd be interesting to see what he gets. 
more scourges. That butter not quite able to pod that, just short on the energy for it. And a bit of a stacking thing, a bit of a counter push here. D Matrix is definitely gonna be saving is definitely gonna help save the team. And now we can see looks like a warp trick is getting set up by silver around in the corner. And did they get Parasite off? Yes. Seventh Fleet did get Parasite off on the Overlord, as I thought. Okay. So Warp Trick is not gonna be quite such a surprise warp trick, but Seventh Fleet has to know that this is gonna happen. Germex, okay, the warp is start it's a staggered warp, but they're war starting to warp on silver. Gonna be a nice angle here. But Southern Fleet is well retreated by this point. And it's a staggered launch. Germex taking a bit of a longer route. Techmeister just gotten more ints. Oops, a bit of a stalled start there by Nut Butter. So instead, it's just going to be a bit of a push. Germex still coming around, laying down broods, level 9 brood lords. It's just going to be a strong pushback. Let's check the farm out. Actually, neglected that. 1600 farm for Southern Fleet and 2000 farm, almost 2100 for We New Can Run. So they've lengthened their lead, their farm lead. And they're going to try to maintain it and widen it. And these guards, of course, when they have to stab themselves for anabolic, looks like we see Cross of Acid on Kraken. Um, makes them vulnerable, makes them a little squishy. But keep spamming the Scourge. Nut Butter's got his work cut off and the tower's down. The Broods are now going to take their frack. This is a nice contain. And more Broods on the way. Level 9. And 400 energy. Techmeister is now with 18 ins too, so that is going to be a big harassment. Missed Plague there by QQQ, but even with the EMP, these ins are still going to be able to do some damage to Duality. Pushing back when he's gotten Bombardment, which will also help clear out the Brood Lords. And Corrosive Acid. Oh. Oh, Kraken Domes. Double Corrosive Acid, G-Stare and Kraken Domes. Which will set things up. Howler is now at level 11 Bile, 10 range. And 1.6 Silver has gone for 1.7 and 11 Bile, 11 Tent, so... But also, also has Frenzy at this point. These Brood's gonna hurt. And... It Techmeister continuing on with warp in and launching. Kraken's just been devoting his minerals into more energy, but he has to go back. So nice EMP by duality. It's gonna block another plague for a while. And no frenzy yet by silver. And you can see Seven Fleet slowly getting pushed back again. This is where we can sing about something about double scourges. I will need a song for that. Ooh, Miss Pods by Nut Butter didn't quite make it there. Tried to tried to pod again. Corrosive acid put a push on Nut Butter. Corrosive acids make BCs melt. Look at this. Ar BC's armor is four, and corrosive acid well not when upgraded, but corrosive acid knocks out another single stack will knock out the armor of a BC completely. It's like it's a flying uh, paperweight that can do lockdowns and cool stuff, but yes. Another Scourge trying to catch Nut Butter. So like Geaster's going to tr try to get one off to have the energy for it. Nope, they were going on Subgods. And Silver and Howler still duking it out. Still duking it out. Silver's starting to get some health upgrades. Ooh, double guard on Germex, but Germex is taking the Broodlord approach versus the Spines and Cross Facet approach of Seven Fleet. Ah, uh, grab some farm. Long range plague by QQQ. Howler's now getting frenzy, so 
Seven Fleets DPS potential will go up, particularly complementary with Cross of Acid will be nice. And I'm s I think well Broodlords will uh sorry, bombardment on Bunny will help with the Broodlords, but it'd be nice if Bunny could help tank for Howler. The Howler is going in for more. It does has one gone in for more energy. Warp in and pressure. Feedback on Techmeister. Silver's gotten frenzied. And corrosive acid on Germex in addition to the broods. Nutbutter's going for more energy, basically. He's just going full support. Full pushback on 7th Fleet before they even had a chance to really get out there. Howler's frenzied up. The frenzy just expired. But big push. And Parasite is off. So Gster will need to get Parasite off again. More energy and lasers on duality. He's going to be able to help. But it looks like Wayne Nukin Run's going to try to take the top tower. They have no reason not to. They can't really be stopped. Though the Scourge will definitely hurt. Going to be a double Scourge? No. That bird is beginning to pause off. So tower is intact, though still f harassed by Techmeister's ints. Looks like QQQ has gotten Siphon as well as Psyblast. So when you can run, can't ignore the Raven for long. They're starting to join in on the energy war. Protective field, the sub gods can help push. Should tank for those interceptors. So Silver is starting to catch up, has more health now, has level 15 bile, so definitely can apply a lot of pressure, especially in Frenzied, as he is at the moment. So let's check out the farm really quick. 2135 farm for 7 fleet, and 2900 for when you can run, so 600 farm lead-ish for the blue team. Not, are they going to take this top tower? Well, the brews are sort of working on it, but they've been redirected to the other ships. There they go. So it looks like they're going to try to take the tower. And Bunny keeps getting pushed back again as the main tank for the team. PDDs are out. So Duality is now invested into PDDs. So checking out Duality's farm. Yep, tower's almost gone down at this point. Howler's trying to defend it. Oh, Duality has a pretty good decent farm at this point. Towers in the red, almost gone. Broods are going to take care of and finish this up. Bunny's now going more lasers, level 9 lasers. And there goes the second warp prism. So, some, I mean, basically they all get the, they have a ton of minerals at this point, so when you can run, taking the opportunity to pull back a bit. No reason to face off against almost healed up. Seven Fleet. Those soft back actually. More harassment on Bunny. D Matrix useful. Looks like the carrier is going back. Four hundred fifty five ints. Interesting to see if we'll see a text or not. No particular reason, not for save purposes, only really for separating someone out. Uh, and 600 minerals on the Guardians. We'll see what they get. I mean, at this point, the Levy Wars are basically won by Silver, as long as he can maintain the farming advantage. And we've got the warping back. Germex warping in, go investing more into broods and into energy. Carriers, Techmeister's now back onto level 21 ints. Launching on Duality. Duality may go down for this, but he does have the two, guardi two Guardians with a lot of Interceptors helping him out. Though those plays certainly did that. No, friend Howler to Frenzy to help with that. But Duality's safe and making it back. And we need can run is taking the opportunity to go back and upgrade. As they are money floating money bags right now. 600 minerals about for each. 
and the Brood Lords with Jarmax and Techmeister can hold the line here. So good staggering by when you can run for their upgrades because the Brood, because level 13 Brood Lords are, you know, you gotta contend with them so they can help hold the line until the rest of the team get more back. They are leaking farm a bit though. More upgrades, I bath a little bit of durability on the Overlord, pushing on Silver, Howler frenzied up. And then Silver counter frenzies. Sub gods, more energy, more lasers, and siege, so hoping to do contain here. Nut butter, gotten protective field because BCs are honestly, they need, yeah, after 30 minutes, BCs really need help. Sub gods sieging up, trying to try to get the rest kill, got the kill, got the guardian. Good, looks like he's going to get Howler. Howler rapid regening, but that's on cooldown. Out of range now, but this is going to help contain 7th Fleet. Jester's getting off some Scourge, but can't even use Anabolic at this point. Too many people needing the heal beam. And then level 21 it's coming in to hurt duality. There goes Jester, killed by the Bile. The <laughs> Techmeister taking damage. Jeter's the GG by Kraken. So overall, um, so this is a GG, so that's game. So when you can run takes game two. I think overall that first that first uh, loss of the carrier of Skywalker early on definitely hurt Seven Fleet, but also it was evident that maybe the side lane matchups weren't the best. But in this case, there the Brood Lords finish off the command center. So we are going on to game three, folks, for when you can run and 7th Fleet. I will be casting that, so catch you guys soon, or catch you guys on the next video you watch. <laughs>